Hello, welcome everybody to this small demo of a MetaMask and Active Directory integration. Um, as you can see, I have a MetaMask server up and running on my local infrastructure, um, and I'm using my login I registered with to log in into my console. And as you can see, I have different channels already created, like channel one, two, three, tone square, which is the typical one which is always there, so it's default. And you can see that I'm a user called CJO in a test team. And if I switch to my system console, you can see that I'm already here as the system administrator, but right now I'm the only one. And I wanted to show with that little video how it is uh, possible to import all the uh, Microsoft Active Directory users before they ever logged in and to um, add them to a channel. With the Enterprise Edition, it's just quite easy to uh, connect to an Active Directory server. In my case, that's just a Windows 2012 R2 instance. We jump on in a minute. And it's just configured to um, allow the sign-in with the other uh, configuration as well as the synchronization. But that does not mean that as soon as you log in, you're part of a channel. You have to find them and you have to add yourself into these, and this is quite annoying if you talk about a few thousand people that want to join the MetaMask server instance. So you want to add them before, and maybe add them to these channels before. And there's something called bulk import um, in MetaMask. So if you jump on your MetaMask server and you use the platform command, there's something called bulk import, which allows you to import data into um, the server upfront. And the thing is, with this import, you need a so-called JSON health file, which is a JSON uh, lines file, which looks like actually JSON, but it's just like separated in lines. So we have to create that file to um, import it into MetaMask. And because of the nature of the Active Directory, uh, let's have a look on that, it's not that easy to get these data or these containers, O's or whatever, um, Translate it into something that looks like is a JSON lines file. So I was thinking about this and I had actually a prospect asking me So I developed a PowerShell script that allows us to export these into the former the bulk import tool needs and if we have a look onto that PowerShell script you can see that it's quite easy. So we have a search base which can be easily modified so if you have users in a different OU or container and then you can just add your search base here. And we can also grab all the Active Directory users by using the typical PowerShell command get ad user with a filter. In this case, it's just not filtering anything. So just get all of them. And keep in mind that if you may have people you want to add from a certain department, for example, or another ad attribute, you can add that switch here. And you can say, OK, these are the guys that uh, I'm looking for. And they, they should be able to log in into these channels. Then we just collect the input from the command line. We see that in a minute. And this builds out the JSON file um, with the right encoding and creates an import JSON file. So if we just easily start that one, he asks us for the team we want to have these users join in. In this case, it's my team. It's a simple name. And I want to add them to channel one, channel two, and channel three. Keep in mind that even if you use capital letters in the channels you've created in Metaverse, um, because you connected to um, the data, the data uh, itself, um, just use lowercases, please, because that um, allows you to add them. So if we do that, it's just like giving you an output. And because we were looking for um, the email address as well, he skips the user that has no email address. Keep in mind that's also something which you want to change maybe at some point in time because you say, hey, everybody who's no email, or who's not part of a department, shouldn't be entered, or who's part of a different company, but also uh, as an external in our ID, you can just easily change that by using the filters. And this should create a import JSON file on my desktop, as you can see here right now. And now we need to use that JSON file on the Metaverse server. It's quite easy because we just can, sorry about that. Uh, we can just Copy the file onto my desktop. Now it appears here. We can just go out of the system and use the command line to actually copy that file from my desktop to 
um, the uh, um, Vagrant machine, so my MetaMost local instance. Just copy that into the temp folder, and as you can see, it just like takes a second. And then we can jump on the MetaMost server itself, and we can easily validate this file by using um, the bulk import command. As you can see, it's just a an enhancement of the typical platform command, which is standard, which is well documented. So you can see platform import bulk, and then we just added the path to the JSON file. And before we do something like apply, we want to validate that this file is really, um, or it looks like it should be. So it seems that there's no, uh, there, there, there are no issues. And there's another thing to keep in mind, you need the license key, uh, so don't hesitate to call us and ask for us. Um, so as you can see, the validation is complete. Now we can easily apply the import to the system, and because it's like, if just a few users, not a few thousand, um, it's really fast. And if we jump back to the MetaMask instance and just do a reload of the systems console, you can now see that everybody was added. So I have a user one, I have a user two, my uh, domain is called MetaMask Local. And now these users should be able to log in. And beside that, they should become part of channel one, two, three, even if they never logged into the system. And we can easily validate that when I log myself out and then go here. I have my Rocket Joe user, and I try to sign in at that one. And as you can see, there's still the tutorial on, because it's the first time this user ever uses um, the MetaMost instance. He's part of my team. Yeah, he has his um, nickname. And as you can see, he's already part of the three channels I added into the script. So as you can see, it's really easy to um, export your AD users into a file that's um, possible for import into, or that, that can be used for importing um, into MetaMost. And as you can see, that was just a, a matter of seconds or minutes. So yeah, that was the intens intention of that little video. Um, feel free to reach out and have fun using it. You can find the um, script in my blog as well as on the GitHub repo.